Hello, my name is Don Sandoff. Today we will be talking about Windows 8 operating system. I'll explain what Windows 8 is along with new improved search features. I'll also explain what apps are and show two new and useful apps for the Windows 8 system. So let's get started. What is Windows 8? Well, it's the latest version of Microsoft Windows user interface and operating system for personal computers. It was released in October 12th, uh, October 2012. It has many new features and apps. One improved feature I like in Windows 8 is an improved search feature. In earlier versions of Windows, you had to click on the Start button and then type your inquiry in the search box. In Windows 8, the Start menu is on the operating system desktop. This screen is useful for their touch screen, but it can also be clicked on. So what do you do if you want to to search for a file or app. All you need to do is press the Windows logo key and type something and then a search box will appear up on the right and give you the results. You can choose from three categories listed but the apps category automatically comes up list all the applications that are relative to your search. You can choose the uh, settings category to view all settings options that are related to what you're searching for or you can select the files category option and searches and displays relevant files. You can also search for documents, pictures, and videos that match your search entry from, from the files category. Well that's all there is to that. Now next let's talk about the apps in Windows 8. Apps are small software applications downloaded on your computer, tablet, or smartphone. They help you do tasks, maintain the system's performance and, and integrity, and help and ease your work. They also they can also be used for games, social media, news feeds, or entertainment. Windows 8 comes with pre-installed apps, and they're listed here. See. Just click on it, it'll take you to your Facebook account, your LinkedIn, your email accounts, or you can click on the email and get your email from Yahoo or Outlook. Browse your video files, your photos, music, skydive, which is uh, apps as well as uh, from other devices. Bing, if you want to go right to the uh, internet and search something, you can do that way. Travel, uh, you can see travel guides, booking tools, currency conversions, and others. News, customize your news to see it in dramatic photo rich for, in dramatic photo rich form, format. Um, and games, obviously you discover new and download games, edit your profile, and see how you stack up against your friends. Two new apps I'm going to talk about that you can add on or download. Uh, first is the uh, Bit Defender. It's an award-winning security app. The other is FileBrick, which helps you keeps you organized. Bit Defender features informs you about security threats and new products, displays your computer's security status, allows you to manage your Bit Defender security products remotely, and fix security issues. Send scanning and update task. You got three options for uh, Bitfinder: the antivirus option, or the internet option, or the uh, total security option. And you can see here um, what you get with each. You do get if any one of these that you purchase, you do get a 30-day free trial, and then you can have the option of either purchasing it or canceling it. Bitfinder also comes with a dashboard. Antivirus Plus dashboard here showing you that you're currently protected. The antivirus, if you see a virus on there or it catches a virus, it'll give you an alert like that one right there. And you can scan it now, but like I said, it, it will actually scan <clears throat> while in the background. It's also accessible anywhere, anytime from the internet connected device. 
The next app is Filebrick. It's simple, responsive, and stable app that combines local drive and cloud storage to help you explore your files more easily while providing full functions of a file manager. It also can link your social, including Facebook and Twitter accounts, and media channels such as YouTube and Flickr. By linking those accounts together, you can browse your friends' shared photos or your YouTube channels just as easy as you can are browsing your local folder. Just sit back and enjoy Filebrick. Previews version has basic functions with ads and lots of some cloud services. The full version, there's no ads and has an enable box. YouTube, Flickr, and Twitter and YouTube, Flickr, and Twitter. Here are some of the features of FileBrick. Browse files and local drives, including hard drives, external USB drives, phone, cameras, etc. Um, you can browse your and files and cloud storages, supports Dropbox, SkyDrive, Google Drive, um, Facebook, Twitter, Flickr, and Piazza and YouTube. The basic file operations that you can do it, it's a uh, copy, paste, move, rename, delete, new folder. And an app has in app playback of media files including music, video, and photos. Uh, thumbnail view for quick preview of contents. And you can link it to a folder on the DLNA server. In conclusion, there are many new features that make Windows 8 more user friendly than in the, than earlier versions of Windows. This version of Windows does not come with a user manual, so you will need to look for little tips and hints, and you can find them in books like Windows The Missing Manual, Top 100 Tips for Windows, and others. Take your time. Do some research. You will be happier with your computer experience. Thank you for listening.